Hi everyone, I'm Steve Bull here at the Toronto International Boat Show, January 2017, and we're looking at the Scout 195 Sportfish. And now Scout makes a lot of different models of all different ranges, from the 17, 18 footers up to the 42 footers, and soon they're gonna be bringing out something even larger. But Sportfish 195 is one of their most popular models, and there's a lot of reasons for that. First of all, the size easily trailerable but can handle really big water. You have a lot packed on here without it being overwhelming. So you have all that build quality that Scout is famous for without the price being outrageous. Now you see quite a few boats have the ABYC certification but not many also have the NMMA certification. It costs a little bit extra for the manufacturer but that's an additional certification about the quality that proves that what Scout is selling is actually legit. One of the hallmarks of a Scout boat is the build quality. And one of the reasons for that is the way they build it. So picture the hull of the boat here. A lot of boat manufacturers build the hull and then put the deck on top, kind of like a shoe box. The problem with that is when you have some waves and water, it'll be giving some force this way. Scout builds them separately, but the deck fits within the hull so any pressure from waves and water would do nothing but push things a little closer together and when they put them together they chemically bond it it is effectively one boat you can't take it apart once it's put together it's also unsinkable you can cut this boat in half and it will still float also fairly unique to scout not everyone does this it is 100 percent hand laid fiberglass not Partially hand laid, 100% of this boat is hand laid fiberglass. A great visual cue for the attention to detail in the build. You can see along the rub rail here, every single one of the screws is at a 90 degree angle. Now, does that really matter in having this more secure? No, but it does show you that if they're gonna take the time to go around to every one of these screws and have them match up perfectly, you can only imagine how much detail went into the stuff that you can't see. Now every scout boat has the air assisted hull and that helps with fuel efficiency and getting you on plane a little bit quicker. And the build quality obviously is a standard, but there are quite a few options. And on the Sportfish 195, some of the obvious ones are this rail. Now you also have the option of a trolling motor. If you have the trolling motor, you won't want the grab rail. The T-top is an option. You can have a bimini top, and you also have the option, if you get this, to have this powder coated. And what you might notice at a closer look at the top is that it's not round tubes, it's more of a D shape. And the reason for that is that all the weld points and overall, it's a little more stable and secure. Now Scout is a debt-free company and you might be thinking, what does that have to do with me and why is that so prominent on their website? Well, why that matters to us, the consumer, is because their three-year stem to stern warranty is only good if the company's around. So if it's a debt-free company, the chance of them going away tomorrow, highly unlikely. So that warranty will be honored. And coming on board, we can see a few more options here. The filler cushion up at the bow is an option. And underneath it, you have a very large drained storage compartment. Another great thing about the Sportfish 195 is that it's fully plumbed and self-bailing. The cup holders, for example, you can see there's a drain here, so you won't have water sitting around. Don't have to worry about mold or anything like that. Also, this particular boat has the upgraded cooler to the Yeti cooler. You don't go for this option. It has an igloo cooler that you can sit on. And all this vinyl here has all been treated with UV protectant, stain protectant. Apparently, you can write on this with a ballpoint pen and wipe it off. I believe them. I'm not going to do that to their boat at the boat show though. Working our way back a little ways, you can see the center console. Now it has a lot of the stuff you'd expect with the optional top. You got the grab rails. You have a lot of room here too, which the avid angler likes because everyone has their own tastes and preferences. So you can customize this as you'd see fit. Now the helm chair and leaning post, you can take this out which is especially handy when you want to access the live well or for bait. Nice grab rails. You use those as rod holders. 
Now you can't spell sport fish without fish. So along with the live well and the rod holders on the leaning post here, you have rod storage along both port and starboard side and rod holders up above to go along with those four rocket launchers right above where you are. Now, under the port side seat at the transom here, you have large storage, as you can see, again, with the drain. And within the console, deep storage 